That dog you got in your backyard right now, that's the dog that'll kill somebody for you. And I don't want him to go out and kill nobody. But that's the dog, you know what I'm saying, that got your back right there. That dog you got in the backyard right now. That dog you got in the backyard right now. That's the one that will hurt somebody for you. See, instead of breeding for all of these magnificent colors and trying to make your dog look uh, mu m full of muscles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, I started fumbling right there. It's trying to get all this girth and make your dog have all these muscles. Instead of doing that, just learn to love the doggy that you got in your backyard right now. He wouldn't be back there if you didn't love him. Learn to appreciate the dog that you have right now. You know, if you got a bully in your backyard right now, he not as big. You know, he don't have all that mass on him like every other dog has. So what? Still love him. If you got a bully in your backyard right now, and he just is not as pretty as all the rest of the dogs, because, you know me, I like an all-white dog sometimes, but I don't get him. But you know what? Learn to love the dog that you got. You know what I'm saying? If you if you create an American bullies and, and you know what I'm saying, you you coming from the heart with it. Learn to love the dog that you have in your backyard right now. Because it may not create, you know what I'm saying, the the desirable colors, but it's gonna create something that's gonna be beautiful because you got him back there. You got him back there and you got him back there for a reason. I got Miss Bright Eyes because I know she's gonna create something beautiful. She got to, I mean. You know what I mean? She come from, from, from perfect lineage. And even though she, she come from perfect lineage, she's still my friend. A dog is supposed to be your friend. A lot of people look at a dog as a paycheck. Just learn to love the dog. Take it for a walk. Sometimes just go do things with your dog, man. It'll take off so much stress from, from off your life. And, you know, you'll just feel so much better. You know what I mean? When you're hanging... With that dog, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to understand they don't talk back, you know what I mean? But just because they listen to you don't mean you have to bully them, you know what I mean? You know, they'll listen to you just with anything, you know what I mean? Your, your, your life, you could talk to them about daily life. You could talk to them about the news. You could teach them. <laughs> There's so much you could do with a dog, man. This is the reason why we have to learn to love the dog that's in the backyard. Sometimes the dog that's in the backyard don't stay in the backyard because we love him. He come in the house sometimes. Now, when you got 50 dogs, 30 dogs, 20 dogs, it's hard to let 20 dogs come in your house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need to quit tripping on that. It's really hard, though, man. Face the bully. Welcome. To a second installment of Face the Bully. I'm still sitting outside on my patio. You know what I mean? And, I, and I'm enjoying my, my time out here because it's really quiet right now. And I can think about dogs when it's quiet. You know what I mean? And when you look up and you see your dog, you know what I mean? He may not be that $4 million dog. He may not be that $3 billion dog. But he's your dog. So you have to learn to love the dog that you have at home already. I mean, even if you make making messed up dogs, <laughs> a lot of people are making them. And we're going to stay on that topic. Well, not just me. You know, you got to understand there's a lot of people out here besides me that really are talking about the health and structure of a dog. I'm just, you know, like following suit too. You know what I mean with all the rest of these people because it's really not right what goes on with some of the dogs. And, you know, as advocates ourselves, we have to learn to protect the dogs. You have, I mean, some some things we do ourselves is wrong. I'm telling you, man, you got to check yourself before you can check somebody else. You have to check yourself. And I've been telling this to myself. So please, everybody, follow suit, man. Love the dogs, man. If you love the dog, you'll be surprised what that dog will create in the long run, even if it don't make a nice puppy. It could be a nice show dog. It could be, you know what I'm saying, a dog that like to win contests. He can do anything that other dogs can't do. Could be a swimmer. A lot of dogs can't swim nowadays. 
Your dog could be a swimmer, anything. We have to love to learn them dogs like we have to learn to love each other, you know, and stop pulling guns on one another, man, and stop trying to, you know what I mean, hate on, hate on each other and, and just learn sometimes to be friends because it's hard out here to be friends with people. You know what I mean? Uh, you could be friends with somebody and then they take advantage of you the next day. You know, it's hard. See, this is why you have to, uh, you know, appreciate that dog in your backyard because he'll be your friend today and he can't wait to see you tomorrow. He ain't even going, man, that dog can't wait to see you tomorrow. He, he going to go crazy. You know what I mean? So learn <clears throat> to love the dog that y'all have at home, man. And you know what I mean? Keep your dog safe. Make sure they stay off the grass. Watch for that dermatitis. You know what I mean? And when it comes to their food, don't change it too much because on an American bully, that'll make them start, you know, losing patches and things. And your dog will have patches everywhere on them. You know what I mean? It's just things that happens to the dogs. But we're going to keep on talking about it right here on Face the Bully.